Good morning, friends. How are you? I just called to say I love you. I just called to say how much I care. I just called to say I love you. And I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Good morning, friends. It's so nice to see you again. Thanks for joining me. Today, I thought we could start off by talking about our thought bubbles, what's in our thinking bubble. And my thinking bubble today is you, and that's why I'm here. I wanted to introduce you to a few little friends I have here. A little chick, a little snowbird, and like a little parakeet. Now they're all the same because they're all birds, but they're also very different. I thought we could try to imagine what it was that might be in their thought bubbles today. So I'm gonna put down two of them. I'm gonna hold on to the little chick and I'm taking a look at the little chick's face. He looks very curious, very eager, like he's looking for something. Hmm. Perhaps in his thought bubble, he might be saying, I'm thinking about looking for my family. Maybe they went swimming. So that's in that little chick's thought bubble, I think. But it could be anything that you think also. Oh, we have our little snowbird. And the snowbird's thought bubble, I'm looking at his face. Hmm, does he look sad? No, I don't think he's sad. I think it looks like he might be singing and happy. He has a heart that he's holding, but I know it's cold outside because he has a hat on. I think in his thought bubble, he might be like, ooh, I'm chilly, but I'm going to sing a song to warm me up. <laughs> That's what I think. And we have one more little friend here. One of my favorites, listen. I'm gonna use my sense of hearing. and the thought bubble of this little parakeet that she is saying I'm so happy to see all of my friends here today and I was singing a song because I was so happy that was the bird's way of talking perhaps you were in her thought bubble friends I remember I showed you this book the other day meet 100 animals so I was curious because we were talking about birds. I was curious if I could learn more about birds. So I went to the back of my book and I found some words about birds and I looked down to see what page it would be on. Page 64 were the birds. So I took a look at these here. We have here a blackbird and we have here a kind of robin. And it says that we see these robins out as its sign of spring. And we know that the season is spring, so some of us might be seeing some of those robins out on our lawn. All right, my friends, I've had so much fun visiting with you again this morning and I can't wait to see you the next time. So be thinking, hmm, what's in my thought bubble right now? What is your plan for the day? And have so much fun. All right, friends, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.